Yeteni TV Omweno Omuzi Are we set? Yeah, we're set. Uh, very good. A very good morning. Wonderful weather in Kisi. Uh, we are very happy to have woken up. It is very beautiful surroundings as well. We have great hospitality in the Abagusi. Uh, as you can hear, juxtaposed by the wonderful noises of our children playing in the background. We wind up our two-day visit to Amira and Kisi. We just want to say Asante. Um, our two to Kisi. Kiwana Jana, Yamira, Yamira Town, Yamirigo. Um, I love to be here. I Jana, and Kisi roundabout in the historical. as well, particularly as we are in the sugar growing zone, as we go to South Nanza, we see a particular part of that ecosystem. Uh, some have been hard to argue that they are not privatizing because there is a prohibition, a legal prohibition, pending resolution of these matters, it's a court order saying thou shalt not privatize. Thou shalt not touch KICC, for example. Because our argument is simple. Although we are talking about state capture of parliament, but the remnants at least have tried to do something. You say that uh, before you privatize state-owned entities, you have to allow the National Assembly and the Senate to oversight. You cannot just take over everything. That is what is in court. So, uh, we are telling our sugar farmers not to give up because they are saying that we are giving, we are not privatizing. As in the case of Zoya Sugar, when they are newer, uh, no, 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 we are not privatizing, we are giving long term lease, <laughs> which is exactly the same thing. So, uh, we have to caution our fellow citizens against the excesses of this Kenya Panzer regime. Determined. And they look so determined. You even see the headline news is that they are trying to have a plan for raising 16 trillion by adding more taxes. First of all, they are beginning, the KRA people are saying now from the 19th of March, don't worry, 
Three days. Okay. And they're giving only a lead time. On a particular nine days to comply. Employer and remit 1.5%, and kill them to 1.5%. They are in the kind of mentality. Even though the issues are still being canvassed in our course of justice. So, we have shared these thoughts with the people of Kisi and people of Namira. We have also made it very clear that uh, we are watching uh, the security agencies in particular because they have issued a direct threat against the life of Governor Simba Rati. We made this very clear yesterday. And we are also saying Azimio is united. We are so focused, in fact, even more than ever before. Because all we are saying is let our captain, our brother Raila Odinga, go on and get this seat. And we are all fully in support. We are praying for him. We even some of us know some of these dynamics. We are able to see what we can do. But that does not mean Pamba Azimio Ita Sambaratika. On the contrary, the people, we realize Kusambaratika Kwa Azimio will mean dashing the hopes and aspirations of Kenyans who want to see nothing but justice in their country. They want to see the education of their children also taken to the next level. But what is happening, the education sector in Mesambaratika. <laughs> Capitation to schools. Schools are closing anytime, I think, in the next few days. And the head teachers have not received this money. And instead, we are seeing of misappropriation and headline news again in the nation of monies in the education sector. So, it looks like Kenya Kwanza is on a free fall kind of approach. And they don't seem to listen to anybody other than themselves. They are demissioned by William Ruto himself that he knows their cartels <laughs> interfering at every level. And I said yesterday, if a whole the, the president himself accepts their cartels on the loose and that he promises to read by detail, line by line, in the budget proposal, what does that tell you? The architects of all these are his own ministers. So his admission is corruption, is rampant. When you are part, we also want to speak this morning from Kisi. Bomba, you have seen a deliberate effort at muzzling the free media in this country. That's the next thing. We are reading the Minister of Interior Nataka Kuzema at TikTok, from a security concerns, TikTok security guy. You also want now to interfere with the social media, the only thing now standing, because you want to fix the nation, you want to fix the standard, you want to fix standard media, you want to fix royal media or threaten them. We are saying as Azumio La Umoja One Kenya that we are standing with the free media. Nanyinyi pia, ujeribu, ujikomboa. Hey, you know now you cannot get advertising space unless you are doing it through the star, and we know who the owners are of that uh, publication, which whose circulation is very, very minimal. So, this is it, we've been watching. And so, you should feel encouraged. Uh, so as we now set sail for Migori, uh, we are very happy, I can ask my brother, Eugene, to add, to add particularly on the separatism of our children, and our children. We'll, we'll take questions, please. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of uh, the press. We, as uh, uh, His Excellency Kalonzo Musyok has said, we've enjoyed the wonderful welcome and hospitality of the Upper Gusi in the last two days. We are very, very pleased and grateful to Governor Simbarati. Governor of the great county of Kisi, the incoming governor of Nyamira, uh, uh, to Ben Momadi, we were in Nyamira yesterday. We are very, very pleased. But equally, we are very concerned about what our fellow Kenyans have shared with us. And my brother, uh, Kalonzo Msioka, and I have been 
traversing this country. We were in Kajali, we went to Meru, we went to Embu, Tarakanit, we've been to Mount Kenya, we have come down to the lake. But right from Isinya in Kajado to Isibania in Kuria, where we are, the cry is the same taxation, over taxation. And people are talking about one name and one name only, Zakai. And he